What's up y'all? I'm Tom and this is Like a Math Class. In this video we're going to continue on from our previous video where we were looking at how do we find the equation for the tangent line to any curve. So finding the, the linear equation for that tangent line. And in this video we're going to, we're going to look at how do we find the horizontal tangent lines uh, of any curve. So let's get to it. If, you've, if you're coming in from the other video, hopefully you've already worked through this question on your own. If you haven't, you may want to pause now and then try it on your own, see if you can come up with how you find this, and then could compare your work with what we do right now. All right, so we're going to find the equations of any horizontal tangents to the curve of this function. In the previous video, we wanted to find uh, coordinates on g of x. We wanted to find the derivative of g of x, and then we wanted to substitute x from g of x into g prime of x. So essentially what we're doing is we're using the x value for both the original function and for the derivative, uh, because when we put it in the derivative, we find the slope. When we put it in the function, we find the coordinate, and then uh, we work together with, we put those things together to find the equation of the tangent lines. So in order for us to find horizontal tangents, what we're looking for is we're actually looking for this spot right here, and we're looking for this spot right here. Horizontal tangents, if you remember, they always have a slope of zero, and a slope of zero. So we actually already know what, what the derivative, uh, the, the outcome is going to be. We know that the slope has to be zero. And we found in the previous video as well, that g prime of x was equal to 3x squared plus 4x. So what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to work backwards, find the coordinates on g of x when this is happening. So how do we find out where the slope is zero? Well, here we've got a, a, a quadratic function. We can just say zero equals 3x squared plus 4x. So we know that when we put an x value into this, we need to have zero come out. So now we're just solving a quadratic equation. What do you know? IB has stuff that's linking back old content uh, to current content. This is what happens all the time. So you may want to go back uh, and, and find the quadratics videos uh, so you can get a feel for that if you need a refresher on how to work with quadratics. So to solve for this, we could use either the quadratic formula, we could graph this, or we could factor it and solve it. This is going to be pretty straightforward to factor. So 0 is going to equal x times 3x plus 4. So using the idea of the null factor law, that says that either x has to equal 0 or 3x plus 4 has to equal 0. Here's one of our spots right here with one of the x values that's going to give us uh, either one of these two spots where we have a horizontal slope. And the other spot is going to be at x equals negative 4 thirds. And so there is our second spot uh, for this. And so what that means is if we wanted to find the equations of the horizontal tangents, but we need to find what are our y values because a horizontal line always has the equation of y equals some value. That's what a horizontal line equation looks like. All right, so how do we find out what the y value is for this? Well, if these are the x values where the slope is zero, so we're kind of working backwards from this, we've got the derivative, we typically substitute the, the x value from the original function into the, deri into the derivative to find the slope. But since we have the slope and now we found the x value, we basically want to take this x value and put it back into our original function. So if we take uh, x back into our function, if we have g of 0, g of 0 into our function, that will be the easy one to do. So that's going to be that's going to be zero cubed plus two times zero squared minus one. So zero plus zero minus one. So one of the places the g of zero, g of zero is going to equal negative one. So one of our equations uh, for this is going to be. Uh, y equals negative 1. There's one of our solutions. And the other one, 
we have to put in negative four thirds into this function. G of negative, negative four thirds is equal to negative four thirds cubed plus two times negative four thirds squared minus one. Now, with an IB question, they're not gonna ask you to do all this work by hand. The, the whole point is not for you to just do computations. So a question like this, you would probably have a calculator and we're gonna use a calculator because you probably don't wanna sit here and watch me uh, work out fractions. And I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit so that way we can find that second value. And here's our function. So we're going to do parentheses and I'm gonna put in my fraction negative four thirds, and I'm gonna make that raised to the power of three, arrow over, plus two times, uh, parentheses, my fraction again, negative four thirds, and that's gonna be raised to the, uh, we could just do our squared option there, and then we're gonna do minus one, and we end up with uh, 0 0.185 repeating. This is gonna be g of g of negative four thirds is equal to 0 0.185 repeating. Ah, okay, there we go. That comes out to a nice fraction as well, 5 27 So, or uh, five over 27, either one of those. So our second value then, for the horizontal line is where y is equal to 5 27 So there are our, our two solutions for where we have horizontal tangent lines to this curve. I hope that was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next video after you hit the like button. See you then.